Oh. Am I under attack? What direction am I under attack from? Are they shooting at me or are they fighting behind a wall? So, oh, there's a corpse up there. Up top, there's a corpse with an item. Just gotta be careful about how I approach. They're patrolling around. There's two moving around. And there's two right over... There's three over here. Oh, there's a whole mob of them over here. Let's try going around real quick. Oh, you still have a jump? Okay, cool. So if you hold down run and then tap it again, you jump again. That's how it's worked for a while. Gonna want, can I jump through this weird little gap? Oops. Did that wrong. Nope. So that's that's definitely still a solid wall, even if it doesn't look like one. Here's the guy that I, I killed before he stood up. Gonna want to approach this on the ground floor, because I don't want to get surprised. As far as I know, no one can be behind me at this point. If I'm lucky, I can sneak up on this guy and do a lot of damage. Before Oh god, they're shooting at me. Let's back off. Alright, definitely going in chain mode. We have a whole mob of enemies coming at me. Two kills. Three down. One of them's off in the distance shooting at me, so I want to keep my distance from that angle. There we go. I really like this chain attack. The AO, the, the sheer range of it's really effective. And it's supposed to be weaker than the than the alternative attack, so I, I guess other other players might do more damage than I do, but I'm still relatively satisfied with its damage output. And being able to, being able to peck away at this kind of enemy from a distance is really handy. Do one quick light attack on them to get them to lure him out like that, and then when he uses his attack, he's vulnerable. So there's a guy that was trying to shoot me. Huh. I think I just have to move fast. I could try shooting back, but my I don't think guns are very big, very effective weapons for offensive reasons. I don't necessarily... Ooh! Yep, we have a mob of enemies coming in now. Uh, I don't think my guns are necessarily good offensive weapons, and they also have limited ammo, so I don't want to use them for this purpose necessarily. There we go. Got him before I got to react. Any ambushes? Oh, sounds. Sounds. Werewolf sounds? Getting werewolf sounds, but I don't see a werewolf. That's a horrifying sound. Where is it? Search the corpse. More bullets. Oh shit, there he is. Is it just a dog? It is just a dog. Alright. Be careful about this. That's ter kind of terrifying. Whoa. I did I, I just had a successful lunging attack. Oh shit. Get behind a wall, quick heal. Alright, it makes sense. That's the hound of the hunter, so there's gotta be a hunter. And now he's screwed. There we go. Get him during the reload. Huh. This was an intense combat scenario. You have to be so careful to deal with so many enemies from so many different directions. I'm pretty on board with this game already. I'm really hoping that all those weapons, all those bullets I'm picking up are going into some secondary inventory somewhere. Banging noises. Blood vials. Can I use this door? Oh. Oh. Oh, the whole thing's fucking moving. Is it gonna beat down? I'm gonna avoid that for now. Go upstairs, check out that area. That might be a boss encounter of some kind. Uh, cold... I don't know what that was. I don't know if you can even open that door, or if it's just a hint that something's gonna be behind it. Or if it's just general atmospheric creepiness. I'm definitely loving the, uh, large enemies and the way they handle it. The, uh, in Dark Souls 1 and 2, a large number of enemies could be a real drag, but the, uh, the presence of this chain attack is actually really handy for it. So down there, there's gotta be an enemy beating on the door, right? Something big has, has gotta be behind that door. Still can't see him. It's a really deep hallway, so I can't see him from here. I have to explore this direction on my own first, because there could be a, a, a surprise enemy. Bloodstone shard? I don't know what that is either. Let's take a look. Hopefully it's safe to take a look at it. Oh! Cold blood dew. Droplet of cold blood containing blood echoes. So this is the new soul of a proud knight or something like that, is you get, you get uh, cold blood items that apparently you can consume for blood echoes. The point of that being that you can use them 
Even if you lose all your blood echoes, you can store these in your inventory, and so they're they're separate from the whole death penalty system. Hunters sustained by the dream gain strength from blood echoes. They imbibe the blood with thoughts of reverence, indeed gratitude for their victims. Note the notebook. We should probably read about this. Messengers are inhabitants of the dream who revere the brave hunters. Use them to send messages to other worlds. Leave notes with messengers, read the notes left to messengers in other worlds, and rate notes to reach out to hunters across planes of existence. Note, all nine use only, cannot be used, to, cannot use this item offline. Where was that new item I found though? It's gotta be in a different, oh, bloodstone shard, a solid shard that forms in cold blood. After death, the substance of the blood hardens, and that which does not crystallize is called bloodstone. At the workshop, these bloodstones can be, are embedded in weapons to fortify them. So it's like the uh, heart, like uh, the various shards you could use in, in the previous Souls games to upgrade weapons. So far we're finding mostly analogous weapons. D even down to the part where the, uh, the Molotov cocktails are, cocktails are basically, uh, are basically just fire bombs. Interesting. I'm already using the fire, that means I'm, that means I'm already using this game's equivalent of fire bombs in combat. Whereas in every other Souls games, I, I would just kind of not use them for whatever reason. Despicable woman. Getting creepy, creepy noises. You can see there's the big guy way off in the distance. Still still can't get a good view. They seem to be careful about not letting you get a good view of your surroundings around here. Can I, can I interact with something? Oh, I can knock. I don't reckon you're from around here. Well, <laughs> stuck outside on a night of the hunt. Oh, you poor, poor thing. <laughs> well, she seems nice, or the worst. Both valid, valid options. A lot of laughing around here. Time for quick steps. Someone gonna attack me? Definitely heard noises. Someone's around here. This just doesn't seem like a safe place to walk into. I'm gonna avoid the big guy for now. Take a look around for any surprises. Oh, what is that? I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I say I don't want it. Gross. Get out of here. Stop being alive. Any surprises? No. Yeah. Nasty little blood raven creatures. They don't like they're they don't even they probably don't even fly. They just hop around and be disgusting for a while. Oil urn. Can I go through there? No. I think we have a moment of reprieve, so I'll take a look at this new item. When this urn hits its mark, the target is drenched in oil, making them extremely flammable. Fire is commonplace in the hunt, and oil urns ex uh, accentuate the effect. Sometimes when hunters uh, uh, burn beasts, they appear intoxicated by the euphoria of purification. So let's go ahead and equip that. So now I have an oil urn and a Molotov cocktail. So that big enemy off there... I'll probably hit him with the oil urn and then burn him. We'll probably get a nice bit, bit of bonus damage from that. I'm gonna keep investigating the area that's not that guy first though, cause... I don't want to get him ambushed while fighting something that's big. Any surprises around here? Keep an eye out for any... I hear footsteps. Keep an eye out for any ambushers. Check behind me real quick. No? So here's that item we saw behind the gate. It's just some more dew. Was there, was there a mechanism for opening it? I don't think there is. That's fine, it's not that big of a detour. I'll check this floor and then I'll go fight the dude. I just want to make sure there's nothing that's going to run out and get me while I'm fighting him. Nothing behind me? Closed by a device. This is probably a switch. Yeah, there's a switch behind it. Alright, that's a one-way gate. Definitely more stuff upstairs, but I want to fight the bad guy first and see what we have ahead of us. Quick heal, just to get us ready, because one hit could potentially be a lot of damage for me here. So he's dangerous looking. I'm gonna say let's open up. Let's see if I can open up the power attack. If I can get, if I can sneak up on him, then we'll back off and hit him with an oil urn and a Molotov. Oh, okay, he saw me coming. Oh, okay, oil urn. I missed. Way to go, me. Why do I even try? Try again. Much better. And burn this fucker. That's- oh shit. One shot, one kill. Except for the part where I wasted an oil urn against a wall. 
God damn. So there's an effective tutorial. Here's an item. Oh, what's that? You read what it does? Oh, it sounds really good for this context. Let's use it in that context. It's super effective. Four more Molotov cocktails. So, so, so we max that at 10. Wow. Looks like they're taking more of an Estus, uh, Estus Flask approach to basically every weapon in this game where they uh, they cap everything out. I think you get 20 blood vials, 20 bullets, Molotov cocktails just maxed out at 10. Can I open this? I can't. Nope. He oh, wait, what? Is, does this game have weapon durability? I should check that. Uh, let's check our weapons real quick. Black Hood, weapons. Uh, durability, 100 out of 100, 150 out of 150. So, either the weapon durability goes down really slowly, or they're just choosing not to, uh, really use that element yet. So that, yeah, I'm really shocked by how fast that guy went down. Okay. Any items stashed around here? Nope. Just causing needless damage to the environment, because I'm a scoundrel like that, apparently. Nothing back here? Nope. Alright, let's head upstairs. Hopefully, we'll be nice and safe. I'm still waiting for the first boss fight. Oh, yo, dog, why? Dog, doggy, doggy, no. All right, I think I did bonus damage there for sure. So I, I do see, I think I am more effective when I use, oh God. Definitely going into chain mode. Cause th this is a chance for me to get attacked by a lot of guys at once. That's a dead end I could potentially use to, to fend people off, but it's probably a terrible idea. Hey guys, how's it going? Ow. Ow. Guns. Why? Enjoy the fire to the face. Alright, he still didn't go down. Wow. That guy's resilient to being chained a lot. There's, oh, there's, there's a dog somewhere. I see you. Get him. Just need to Just need to bait the attack out so I can dodge it. Huh. This game is tense. So, uh, Molotovs are very effective against normal enemies. That was my first time using it. I'd been using them against large guys so far. Which granted... Uh, granted the small enemies are, are vulnerable to most attacks, so it's not surprising the Molotov would be pretty effective against them. Hey doggy. Doggy. You wanna play? You make the worst noises. Ooh! Jesus Christ, they come at you fast. Thankfully I have a ridiculous range. Really, really digging the chain weapon. What do we have here? Blood vial. Six more. Wow. They want to. They want to set me up. That makes me especially suspicious that we're about to have a boss fight next. If they're just gonna throw six at me all at once. Can I knock? Not here. Who knows how many places you can knock? I assume that sometimes something actually happens when you do that, and it's not always. It's, I assume it's not always just nothing, and someone being rude to me. Anything here? View notes. It's it's the scourge of man beasts. Can I knock? I assume it would give me a switch prompt to if I could knock. What are we gonna have up here? Oh, that's a noise. That is a noise. That is a bad noise. Fire is effective. Uh oh. If fire is effective, am I in trouble for the fact that I don't have any more? Uh, that I'm all out of urns for oil. I, I have Molotovs, but nothing else. All right, we'll see what we'll see what's ahead of me. What the, what's the environment look like, by the way? Big structure there. More big structures. Yeah, just general uh, Elizabethan-looking area. Nothing in that direction that I can see. Oh, two werewolves. I can see where they'd want me to use the fire. All right, this could be bad. Can I avoid their attention for now? So far, let's look around here for any dangers and rewards. How far do they patrol? Not really. They don't seem to be moving very much. Someone died here, so that's not a good sign for my future here. No apparent items, just stashed around. Oh, there's one. There we go. Please be an er Bloodstone shard. Okay, that'll be good for upgrading later. But not really a priority right now. Alright, let's see if I can get... Should I, should I go fight them or go this way? Can I go this way safely? Oh, what's down here? Is this forward progress, or is this side secret? Many of these could could be all and both, potentially. Bloodstone shard. More upgrade item. Ooh, that's a drop down. 
Oh, I don't know if I want to go down there. I don't know if I can get back up if I go down. Oh, there's a ladder. Where? Oh, okay. That ladder's fine then. Because of the ladder, I can just climb back up if I go down here. Do I want to go down there or fight the wolves next, though? So many directions. I can also go that way. Notes. Reeks of hidden path. Beware of trap. Beware of footing. I think the tra I think the warning is just that you could fall. There's so many directions. Okay. We're definitely getting the Dark Souls feeling of just... Where do I go? Just because there's so many paths that I want to remember. Is that where I fought before? That is. That's the big bur that's the big burning corpse we saw before. That's cool. The level's wrapping in on itself and they use that thing being placed in such a way is specific iconography that helps you recognize exactly where you are. So how does a pebble work is what I'm wondering. Small pebbles found throughout Yarnum can be thrown at foes quite thrilling. Okay. I'll go ahead and equip a pebble. Why not? And maybe I can use a. I want, I'm wondering if I can use a pebble to distract. Because if I can, was there an item back there, or was that a reflection in the water? That was water. If I can distract someone with a pebble, I might be able to get one of the wolves to separate. I'd rather fight them one on one than two at a time. Does that get his attention? No. Also, that that's a pebble. Seems like a big rock to me. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm fucked. That didn't work. Dodge! Okay, that was ineffective completely. Uh-oh. Need a quick heal. Maybe switch to our Molotov real quick. Hey, buddy. You're in my face. I don't like that. Get out of my face. Ow! Get out of my face. Holy shit. Their combo's no joke. He had a follow-up. Alright, well that got bad fast. Well, I'm back, and unfortunately I got careless and died, so there goes my souls, or blood, blood echoes, there we go. So, part two of trying to fight these guys, I'm definitely going to abuse the shit out of my Molotovs in this case. So we've learned that they're actually very effective. What? Oh, uh oh, that's a miss. And I'm about, I'm about, to, get, I'm about to get devastated. I, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. Okay. Oh, they're chasing me. They're right on my butt. They're right on my butt. They are genuinely unsettling. Hey guys, how's it going? Fire! Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh! They're actually- they hit you really hard. And it's quite a run back, too. It's really all fire or go home, isn't it? The actual- your attack damage is pretty- It's tough to get a hidden when they have that bit of, big of a combo. Oh, you've got all my souls on you, don't you? Alright, so that's how that works. Is sometimes your souls are inside of a body. I knew about that a bit, but that was a good example of seeing it in person. So, by the way, surprisingly easy just to run through the entire area. I just ran here in a few seconds. Kind of a good, kind of good to know, just because <laughs> uh, having trouble with these werewolves is going to be a little off-putting if I keep having to start over so many times. Oh god, I hit nobody? Oh shit! Okay, this is bad, this is bad. Oh, I accidentally dodged directly into him. I should have unlocked to, to dodge away. I was trying to dodge down the stairs and I kind of looped around somebody. That went bad really fast. <laughs> Alright, successful once again. We're de I'm definitely learning a bit of the value of using the cane mode as opposed to the whip mode. Because the whip mode is very... Oh god, this guy just aggroed on me? Okay, I guess we're fighting him head on now. He just sort of showed up. Hey buddy. Uh, nice surprise. Uh, the, the, the issue with the, the whip mode is that it's uh, a nice big AoE with a good reach. But it's also a little scary. Aside from the reduced damage, it's also uh, it's a slower attack. There's a wind-up to it that you have to worry about. This guy's definitely a bit slow and vulnerable to attack. There you go. Pretty, punish pretty punishable if you're careful about it. But I figure, I, I get the feeling that one stray attack could really mess me up here. So you definitely want to let him go first. Oh, and, and punish his mistakes as opposed to letting him do it, so do you. Let's get out of here, I'm, I'm low on stamina. Ooh, yeah, definitely wait for those big attacks and then punish. Alright. So now I fought him legitimately instead of just, instead of one-shotting him with oil. He dropped a blood vial. Two blood vials, I mean. 
That'll be handy. So I'm probably gonna blow my, my cocktails on these, uh, wolves. I think I can fight one wolf, it's just, it's a little scary fighting two at once, because I'm not sure how to react in time. I'm gonna switch to sword, because at least that has a faster reaction speed, I think. The, uh, reaction speed I get from my, uh... The, the wind-up of my cock- of my other attack's kind of awkward. Oh, he dodged! Son of a bitch. Vic! I see you. Coming at me. Ow, ow, ow! Jesus Christ! He did like a four-hit combo in like one second. Holy shit, am I just supposed to not fight these guys? Maybe I should avoid. I think that's what I'm learning here, is that I should avoid these guys and check out that cool side path I found. <laughs> Holy crap.